China, of course, understandably wants to reduce U.S. influence in the world, and especially in Asia, because reducing American influence in Asia would make China more secure. The United States, of course, wants to remain in Asia to help balance China. So China has to focus on its own neighborhood and is less able to project power and influence elsewhere. If you think like a realist, you'll also understand why the rise of China is going to be a major source of conflict. I also think China, uh, in the past 30 or 40 years, has acted very much in a classic realist fashion. Uh, they've understood that it was incredibly important for them to build their economy in order to be able to compete effectively around the world. And the only way that they could be strong enough to protect their interests was to build a world-class economy. In a world where there's no central authority, the two most powerful states will always keep a close eye on what the other is doing and they're going to compete for power because neither is going to want to be substantially weaker than the other.